Are you a pesticide registrar? Then this video is for you. It explains the information sources for pesticide registration that can be accessed through the FAO Pesticide Registration Toolkit. Pesticide registration staff need pesticide specific information while evaluating the application of a registration. Part of that information is provided in the registration dossier that generally accompanies the application. But additional information can be obtained from international databases, websites or from other registration authorities. The second menu on the left side of the toolkit, Information Sources, helps you to find many types of information on individual pesticides. Most of this information is not maintained by FAO, but the toolkit provides links to and short explanations of the relevant websites. A lot of information on specific pesticide is available through the internet. Some of it is reliable, some is less reliable, and some may be biased in one way or another. The toolkit only includes links to databases and websites that are maintained by reputable, independent entities. These include UN organizations, regional and national government bodies, research institutions, and independent private sources. Let's have a look at the information sources covered by the toolkit. The address books contain contact details of other pesticide registration authorities. They allow you to contact your colleagues if you have questions about the registration of certain pesticides in their country. Help us to keep this address book up to date by informing us about possible mistakes or any changes in contact details. You will also find links here to the national focal points of international conventions. On the registrations elsewhere pages, you can verify whether a pesticide has been registered in other countries. If you click on a region, in the list or on the map, a list of countries that publishes their registered pesticides on the internet is shown. For each country, you'll find the name of the pesticide registration authority, the type of pesticides they register, for instance all pesticides, or only plant protection products, whether or not they publish the authorized uses of the pesticide, in which language the data are available, and then a link to the general web page of the registration authority, the icon with the eye, or a direct link to the database or list of registered pesticides. For instance, in the case of Myanmar, you are linked to the web page of the Pesticide Registration Board, which publishes a list of registered pesticides in the country. The module on restrictions and bans allows you to verify whether the use of a pesticide has been severely restricted or banned by an international convention. These include the Rotterdam and Stockholm conventions, as well as the Montreal Protocol. By clicking on the explanation icon, you get a description of the main annexes or databases that list the pesticides regulated by that convention. This helps you go to the right section of the convention website. By clicking on links, you are taken to the home page of the convention, or directly to the databases listing the regulated pesticides. By checking the scientific reviews page, you can access pesticide review reports that are available from international and national bodies. These tend to be detailed evaluations and reviews of pesticides, conducted either for registration or for standard setting. You will find reports by international bodies such as the FAO and WHO Joint Meeting on Pesticide Residues, by regional regulators such as the European Food Safety Authority, or by national registration authorities that make their evaluations public. Again, by clicking on the explanation icon, you get a short description of the scientific review and some guidance on how to access it on the website of the respective institution. By clicking on links, you are taken directly to the web page where you can access the reviews. The last column in the table indicates which types of data are evaluated in the scientific review. You can check the hazard classifications of individual pesticides by going to this page. In the module you will find links to both international and national bodies that conduct hazard classifications of chemicals, and pesticides in particular. Note that in some cases only the classification criteria are available. This is the case for instance for the GHS classification, that does not classify any individual pesticides itself. In other cases, you are linked to databases of already classified pesticides. Examples are the IARC classification of carcinogens, 
and the classification and labeling database of the European Chemicals Agency. If a registration authority publishes pesticide labels, we have listed such databases on the approved labels page. Often these labels can be downloaded, so you can check approved uses and required precautionary measures for that product in the country. If you need more information how to access these labels, you can read the short explanations that are provided for each entry in this tool. In some cases you may want to check what maximum residue limits have been set for a specific pesticide. MRLs of international or national standard setting bodies can be accessed through the maximum residue limits page. When you evaluate a registration dossier, you may wish to cross-check specific chemical or toxicological properties of the pesticide. For instance an LD50, or a half-life, or a no observed effect concentration. The pesticide properties page in the toolkit will link you to reputable databases containing such information. The databases that are listed have been selected because they are regularly updated and because they apply quality control to the data which are included. And finally the pesticide specifications page provides access to international pesticide quality specifications. We have now briefly gone through the information sources menu and shown you the many types of data that can be accessed in a quick and simple manner. This menu allows you to find reliable pesticide specific information relevant for pesticide registration in a rapid way. We expect that these will be useful for your work as a registration staff. Please feel free to suggest other pesticide specific information sources which may be relevant for pesticide registration. The pesticide registration toolkit is work in progress. We will continue to update the information sources, so check back regularly for new websites and databases.